Canvas recently refreshed the design of their homepage and editor to improve the way you create in Canva. Here's what's new in the Canva Glow Up. Let's dive in. The first we'll notice with this glow up is the homepage banner. Of course, the famous what will you design today is still here, but the banner became leaner and they added a stylized scenery as background. If you also notice, the search bar and the design type icons are now outside the banner. The homepage menu is always on, as you can see on the left hand side of the page. It still houses some of the old timers like home, projects, templates, brand, and apps. And yes, I just want to emphasize that the create a design button is now placed on the left panel, along with the invite people and your recent designs. There is also a glow up button if you want to give Canva your feedback on how to improve this glow up even more. The design type recommendations and thumbnails are now removed from the homepage but can still be accessed by clicking create a design or any design type icons. There is a window that will pop showing the thumbnails and icons of different design types as well as the shortcut to the Canva visual suite. You have two options at this point. You can either select and use templates by selecting from this carousel or clicking see all or create from scratch by clicking on these icons. But for this video, let's click an icon so I can show you what's new inside the new Canva editor. Once you enter the editor, the templates panel will automatically pop up, encouraging you to use a template. But let's close that for now. You'll notice this hamburger icon here. This allows you to access the homepage button without leaving the editor. But let's close that for now as well. One of the major changes in the editor is the side panel. The icons are now more tactile and more button-like. What's great about this new design is that you have more space to play, as the side panel gets out of your way when you don't need it. But it also gives you an option to lock them in place if you need to explore more of the tools. Once you click any button, you'll notice that nothing much has changed with the panel design. But to close them, you have to hover your cursor on the panel so the close button pops out on the top right side of the panel. There's also the addition of quick action button on the bottom left, which you can also access by pressing slash on your keyboard. The only change made to the menu bar is the addition of the mode switcher button for your design. Select editing if you want to give other users full editing capabilities, commenting if you want them to leave comments, and viewing if you just want them to be viewers. The toolbar is now a floating panel on top of the canvas. Photos and videos now has a dedicated background remover button, which of course you can still access via edit. Learn how to animate like a pro in Canva by watching my other videos.